In today's video, we're gonna take a look at better teams. A plugin which adds teams to your Minecraft server. When players are in the same team, they will have a shared team prefix, along with a team home, a team bank account, a team chat. You will be able to ally other teams, you can toggle PvP on or off, and there's a lot more stuff you can change. So today, I'm gonna show you exactly how it all works. Before we start, do make sure to subscribe to my channel, you would help me out so much by doing that. And then, without any further ado, uh, let's uh, dive right into this. So after successfully installing the plugin, the very first step will of course be creating a team. The way you want to do that is type slash team create and after that the name you want for your team. In my case, it's gonna be member cat. <laughs> Only the YouTube members will understand. So team create member cat, gonna press enter and there we go, your team has been created. So when we now click on tab, you can see, hey, it is member cat Kasasora. And when I type in chat, so hello, you will also see member cat as a prefix in front of my name. That is the member tag and we can completely customize it. So the first very important command you should know is slash team info. This will give a lot of information about your team, including its name, if the team is open or not. So an open team is a team that anyone can join. If the team is not open, then it is invite only. Then you also have the team score. So currently it is zero. We can get this team score up by killing other players from other teams. So every single time I kill a player from another team, my score will go up by one. But every single time someone from my team, from team member cat gets killed the score will go down by one then there's the balance so balance is basically the bank account of your team you can of course deposit and withdraw money from this account then there's the team level so currently the team level is one we can get it up by either increasing our team score or putting more money on our team bank account now if your team eventually gets to a higher level you will be able to have more members in your team and your team will also be able to claim more chests then here you got the tags so the tag is just the name of our team right now, but that is something we can change. And then down here, you of course see the owners, which is currently only me. But a team can have multiple owners and also a lot of members. This team doesn't have any regular members yet, but if we would have any, then they would show up down here. So about the tag, if you want to change it, you can simply type slash team tag. And after that, the new tag you want to assign to your team. In my case, I'm going to go for cat all in caps. Press enter and there we go. Now I don't have member cat in front of my name, but just simply cat, which in my opinion looks a lot nicer. Now you can also change your team color by using the slash team color command. So now we can change the color to anything we want. For example, red. When we then press enter, you can now see that cat is in a red color instead of a gold one. So you can make your team name or team tag appear in pretty much any way you want. Now when we type slash team ally, you can ally another team. Now when you're an ally with another team, you can also use the ally chat. So if I send this chat message now, then only ally teams will be able to see it. Another cool command is slash team set home. So by doing this, we will set a team home. This is now the team home. Look what a beautiful location this is. It is absolutely perfect, that block over there. So now the whole team can just type slash team home and they will be teleported to that location. Something you can also do is set a team war. So let me go to, for example, over here under the big mushroom. And then I'm going to do slash team set warp. Then the name will be uh, something like one, but then you can also set a password. So the password will be uh, the one, two, three, four. There we go. The warp has been created. So now people in our team will be able to teleport to that location, but only if they know the passwords. Now you don't have to set a password. It is completely optional, but you can. And that is pretty cool. So if I now do slash team warp one and then one, two, three, four, then I will be teleported. If I do it without the one, two, three, four, then it will not work. Now you can use slash team ban to ban people from your team. I got no one in my team, but if you do have people in your team, you can ban them. There's also the slash team top command, which you can use to see who are the top ranking teams. Now, these are, of course, the teams with the highest score and with the highest level. So like I said, the score you can get up by killing other players from other teams, and your level will go up by also getting a higher score. But besides that, you can also get it up by having more money on your team bank account. Now, of course, if you want money and economy in general to work correctly, 
correctly, you should also install Vault and an economy plugin like, for example, Essentials X. But if you've done that, you can deposit money to your team bank account. So slash team deposit 400 will deposit 400 money, dollars, euros, whatever you want to call it, to your team account. So when I now do team info, you can see there's 400 on our account. That's pretty cool. Then you can do slash team withdraw and I'm going to withdraw 200 team info. There's only 200 left here and I now got 200 extra in my pocket. Now, when you use the slash team open command, you can open up your team, meaning that now anyone can join. As soon as you do slash team join and then member cat, you will be able to join the team. Of course, I can't because I'm the owner, but other players will be able to execute this command and join your team without having to wait to get accepted. You can also invite players So slash team invite and then the name of the player for example Casasara will invite them to your team then they can accept the invitation to become part of member cat now another important command is slash team pvp so this will disable or enable pvp for your team so if pvp has been disabled that means that everyone inside of your team will not be able to pvp with each other but you will also not be able to pvp other allies if pvp is enabled then your whole team can just fight each other, friendly fire enabled, <laughs> and then your team is also able to fight other ally teams. Now your team also has an ender chest, so slash team e chest, there we go, a general ender chest that your whole team can access. That's pretty cool. And if you have a regular chest like this one over here, and you go and stand on top of it, and then you do slash team chest claim, you can claim a certain chest. So now only your team will be able to open this chest. And that's pretty cool. Now, something else that's really important to know is that you can rank up players in your team. So by default, everyone in your team is just standard. They're just a normal member. But when you do slash team promote and then the player name, they can be promoted to, for example, admin. Now, when someone is an admin in your team, they will just be able to use more commands. So these are all the commands that only admins and owners will have access to. So kicking players, banning players, setting homes, deleting homes, claiming chips chests, removing chests, and also targeting PvP. These are all the commands that everyone in your team will be able to do. And these over here are all the commands that only the owner can execute. And you can also set a new owner if you want. So if you want to leave the team or you don't want to be the owner anymore because you don't play that often anymore, then you can actually give someone else ownership of your team and you can become an admin or a normal member or just leave. <laughs> Whatever. Now over here, you also got a massive list with admin commands. So these are not commands you can use if you're an admin inside of a team, but if you're an admin on that Minecraft server. So you need to be OP or have the right permissions to actually use all of these. But these permissions will pretty much allow you to overwrite any team changes. You can just delete warps completely. You can join any team you want, no matter if it's open, yes or no. You can force a player to leave their team. You can remove all claimed chests from a certain team. Let's say they abuse it in some way all pretty cool and needy stuff here and that is gonna be it for today i really really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel you would help me out so much by doing that and then i wish you an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye